is Mr. Scott, and this will be a lesson on a two-octave C major scale. Let's get going. Hey kids, so let's start by learning how to play a two octave C major scale. Well, there are many places you can play it, but for now we're going to use this form and these fingerings particularly because I think they'll help you get to know your fretboard a little bit better than you may know it right now. So let's take a look at a few things. Above all the notes you'll see M or I. That obviously means use your middle or index finger. M for middle, I for index. Beside all the notes, you'll see one, two, three, and four. Those are the left hand fingerings. So the first note, C, you can see a two beside it, so you'd use your second finger. And then the next note, D, you'd see a four beside that one, so you'd use your fourth finger on the D. Now, as a clue to help you decide where those notes actually are, you'll see below that there's a number with a circle around it, and then a line going to a certain point before we arrive to another number with another circle around it. Those are strings. So the C and the D are to be played on the fifth string. The E and the F are to be played on the fourth string, as is the G. When you come to the A, you'll see there's a three underneath that, and the line goes all the way up through the B and C until we arrive to the D, which is to be played on the second string, then we have E, F, and G on the second string as well, as you can tell with a line underneath, and so on and so forth, okay? So that's a little description of the scale. Now what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about how to play it. Well, always start on your M finger because it helps with alternation, okay? And also makes you think about what finger am I starting with, okay? Pay very close attention to where the notes are when you go up, that is to say ascending, and when you go down, that is to say descending because the same notes are played on different strings some of the time. So you have to be very careful and you have to make sure you're reading this very well, okay? Now, when you have this scale learned by memory, that is to say, put the metronome on 100 to the quarter note and play these quarter notes. Then when you feel comfortable doing it and you're right in time with the metronome, then you can start moving it up. So get your fingers moving quickly. And finally, always use your rest stroke. Okay, alternate, make sure you're walking those fingers like I've talked about. They're nice and loose, of course. Loose fingertips, you're getting a really nice tone and you're never stressed, okay? I would encourage you guys to send me videos of your lessons, sorry, of your, um, of your attempts at this scale. If you have any questions, you may reach out to me through Class Dojo or even an email. Okay, hope everything's well and we'll see you soon. Bye.